yes, it's a material thing, but you know, at the end of the day, if I didn't work hard, if I didn't work out, if I didn't do all the things that I previously told you guys about, I wouldn't have the confidence to make that crazy move all the way to Arizona by myself, purchase this bed, do the things I'm going to be doing next year, getting the cars that I'm gonna be getting next year, um, and just living life. And okay, so in no particular order, one of the ways I increase my confidence is by dressing up. So it's Christmas day, I got a nice watch, I got a few really nice accessories to go with the watch. I got a nice little black and gold bracelet with a little wooden um, Shambhala type bracelet. I got some really nice boots, if it can load in. If it isn't, let's see, there we go. Got some nice boots, very simple. Uh, black, black stretchy jeans, something really simple. A nice like soft sweater, uh, a nice complimentary black hat. So dressing up nice is one of my ways to feel more productive, I feel more energized. I, whenever I dress nice, I feel like I stand out a little bit and I just have a better spark to my day. And so dressing up, you know, wearing nicer clothes, it doesn't even have to be nice, just wearing clothes that make you feel a little bit more confident about yourself, uh, that embodies. Uh, so yeah guys, confidence, clothing, they go hand in hand for me. Whenever I dress up a little bit nicer, I tend to perform a little, a little bit higher at a higher level and uh, it has enabled me to just be focused. Uh, whenever I dress up, I feel like I'm more engaged and ready to go because I took the time to get ready and I'm just like, okay, let's go. Let's knock out each task. I feel good. I feel confident the way I look. Uh, and then for me, that stems from, I guess, not having, I, I used to not really dress up and uh, the fact that I get to dress up for something, I never had anything to dress up to really. I always wore basketball, basketball attire. Uh, so this really helps me and makes me feel more confident. So by all means, uh, it's not limited to me. So go ahead and you, know, you guys should try it out yourselves. Try dressing up once or twice a week and see, see what happens. Okay, number two on the list of how to be more confident. It would have to be working harder. So as cliche as it may sound, uh, working harder increases your confidence. So what do I mean by that? So let's say you have a ton of things to do on a day-to-day -day basis and you never get anything done and you always procrastinate and everything ends up never getting done. And then you let's say you have five things to do or six things to do every day and every day the last two or three things get moved on to the next day and then the two or three things that you were supposed to do get piled onto the next day for the next list and it just keeps happening like that and it just keeps happening like that every single day every single week every single year uh if you work harder i promise you and you get those tasks done i promise you that your confidence will go up ever since i started doing that and really writing down uh, my goals i have a calendar right behind me uh, or right behind you guys and uh, I look at it every day and I try to really focus in and try to like get everything done and I work hard and sometimes I work harder than I'm supposed to because whenever I work a little harder I've noticed I, I get luckier it's really weird how that works I wake up a little earlier go to sleep a little later read a little bit more do a little bit more work and the more you do the luckier you get the harder you work the more confident you will get and that leads into number three and that leads into number three, you guys, which is accomplishing goals. So this kind of goes hand in hand with the second one, which is work harder. I got a little list, like I said, kind of reading it off of it. Uh, so accomplishing a goal. So let's say you have one big goal, okay? So you want to bench, and okay, so you want to have this big body, right? You want to like, let's take bodybuilding, for example, because I bodybuild. Uh, you want to have this incredible body, right? For you to get to that incredible body, you're not just going to have one goal of, okay, I'm going to have an incredible body. You're going to have to have lots of little goals for your chest, lots of little goals for your back, lots of little goals for your legs, arms, shoulders, traps, core, and you have to train everything and set little goals. And every time you accomplish a little goal, you get a little bit more confident into, okay, I'm getting one step closer. Because every day, let's say it's it's a 200 step process, right? To get into that big goal. But in your head, you're just like, okay, that's one one goal. That one goal can break, can break, can get breaking up into 200, 250 little goals, 250 days, 300 days worth of work. And every single day that you do that, you're gonna get one step closer. The one step closer that you get, you're gonna get one more step confident, or if that's a thing, that's not a thing. Uh, so I feel really vocabularily 
retarded, but, but anyway, yeah, so every time you get a goal done, you're going to get a little bit more confident in yourself, and that's going to increase your confidence and overall give you more energy and positivity. And that leads to number four, reading. As you guys can see, so as you guys can see, I have a few books. I don't have many, and I showed them to you guys, I think, in one of my previous videos, but I have a few books, and I read. I should read more, I'm not gonna lie. This year is gonna be the year where I conquer my reading goals. I haven't, okay, so I have another six days till the end of the year, or the end of the year slash beginning of the year, where I'm gonna really focus in on give my, giving myself a number of how many books that I'm gonna read, and I'm going to execute that number this year. Whatever it takes, I am executing that number. I am gonna hit whatever number I hit. So right now, I believe it's 24 books. I would like to read 24 books in 2018. So that's one book every two weeks. So I think it can be done. I really do think it can be done. And if I get that done, that'll be amazing. Last year I read four books, uh, yeah, four or five books, and I felt literally so much smarter after every single goal. And when you feel smarter, you're gonna feel what? You're gonna feel a lot more confident, right? So with that being said, reading books is number four on the list, guys. Definitely grab a book. Um, I may have an Audible link for you guys to check out, uh, and you guys get a free 30 days, so definitely check that out. Um, I've been using Audible for about six months now. I have a lot of credits, and uh, I sometimes buy more books, but I like to listen to audiobooks more than read actual physical books, and uh, that's, yeah, I, I love Audible. Audible's like, my go-to for audiobooks. Um, moving on, number five. Number five, and I'm pretty sure you guys all saw this coming, but it's exercise, right? So, no cuts, I'm gonna keep going right here. I'm gonna show you guys something. Imagine waking up every single morning and seeing yourself have a nice, a nice six pack. A nice six pack, a nice body, and it doesn't necessarily have to be my body because in my opinion, I don't even have a nice body. Like anything, any form of exercise, like you don't have to have like an amazing body. As long as you are exercising and you are creating these like positive, positive endorphins going to your brain and it's telling you that you are doing something right, you're losing weight if you're a little bit overweight, if you're gaining more muscle, and it kind of, puts you at a position to push and like work. when you work out you're pushing stress away i feel like and it's it's you're also causing stress because when you work out you're causing a lot of uh i believe meta uh, metabolic stress to your muscles but that's good stress that's the stress we want that's the stress that's going to cause our muscles to grow so with that being said you guys let's go over the top five ways to increase your confidence with number one dressing up dressing up a little bit more often. So look, this is like a simple, just a simple button up t-shirt. I feel really good in it, opposed to wearing like something random, um, you know, like a random Star Wars t-shirt or like a simple, I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with simple play t-shirts too. It's just whatever makes you feel confident. Me, I like wearing a little bit more dressy up outfits, like button downs and like, you know, loafers or uh, Chelsea boots or like any kind of boot really and stuff like that. Stuff that's gonna make me feel confident. And I just, I like fashion, so that's me, but whatever makes you feel confident. Uh, step two, very obvious, working harder. The harder you work, the more shit you get done, which obviously is number three, the more goals you accomplish, you're gonna feel better about yourself. And when you feel better about yourself, you're gonna be more confident. And then with that, you're gonna be reading and exercising as number four and five. These are really simple things, guys. There's no reason to like not be confident in yourself. The reason you're not confident is because you're not doing shit. Are you doing shit? I think I'm gonna put that in the beginning of the video. If you guys are watching this, and you know, it's gonna be in the beginning of the video too. Are you doing shit? If you aren't doing shit and you're not, okay, if you're not feeling confident, it's probably because you're not doing shit. If you're not, and then there's gonna be like, obviously there's gonna be like, when I was doing drop shipping, I, you know, I was confident, but I kept failing, so I wasn't confident anymore. But then I got successful with it, and that's a whole nother story, but I know some people do things, so that means you're doing something wrong. So what you gotta do is audit yourself, and I don't wanna hear, oh, I don't have enough time, because you probably spend two, three hours on Instagram and Snapchat, so figure that out, and uh, just figure out what it is, because 
Being confident is not hard. I was a very shy person a few years ago. I was bullied, I was picked on, I was a loser, quote unquote, and I completely 180 my life. I changed my body. Um, check out my before and after video. I'll put that in the link below as well. Uh, if you guys wanna check that out for some motivation for fitness gains. But with that being said, you guys, that is my top five on my top five ways of being more confident and more energetic and more positive. Uh, I, I do everything that I mentioned. I'm not a hypocrite. I do all those things. Maybe reading, I don't do as much, but I'm I'm going to work on it this year. And you guys are gonna follow me along. I'm gonna review all the books that I read. And I'm telling you, content coming every single week. I'm back. I got my own place. No more excuses. Uh, I, I was I was getting kicked out from place to place. And if you guys are watching this uh, and you guys are still with me. I'm gonna only share this because you know you guys are watching this and this is the end of the video. Let's see if anyone's actually gonna comment about this. But you guys see this bed? You guys see this bed? This is my bed. I just got it a month, no, two weeks ago. I got this bed two weeks ago, right? So I got this bed two weeks ago. Before this bed, I was sleeping on a air mattress. I slept on an air mattress for two almost two years i slept on that air mattress for two years right and i developed lower back problems i develop, uh, developed like problems in my traps my traps weren't growing because they would get so stiff and uh man it feels good to work hard because i worked hard and i bought this bed all by myself you know i got my i got this all by myself and it, yes it's a material thing but you know at the end of the day, if I didn't work hard, if I didn't work out, if I didn't do all the things that I previously told you guys about, I wouldn't have the confidence to make that crazy move all the way to Arizona by myself, purchase this bed, do the things I'm going to be doing next year, getting the cars that I'm going to be getting next year, um, and just living life and not being scripted. Go check out MJ DeMarco's Unscripted. Uh, you guys won't regret it. And then check out his first book, The Millionaire Fast Lane. Amazing book, completely blew my mind, opened it up to the possibilities that are out there. Ironically, the dude moved from Chicago to Arizona as well, which is kind of kind of funny, but yeah, that's maybe why I decided to move to Arizona. But with that being said, you guys, I appreciate the love you guys have been sending me on Instagram. Uh, a lot of people have been giving me great feedback. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment what you guys want to see next. I'm out.